хотел бы с огромным удовольствием передать слово Томасу Питхарту. Томас – член совета директоров компании RTGS Global. Томас провел 14 лет в SWIFT вот, и сейчас помогает платежным системам перейти на новый этап развития. Томас, the floor is yours. Здравствуйте. К сожалению, всех не надо, не надо говорить а, по-английски сегодня. Это уже 40 лет тому назад, как я учился по русскому языку. Но эти слова, которые мне надо сегодня, их еще не было. So, let me switch to English now. Uh, today we talk about payments, we talk about real time instant, those are the words that did not exist many years ago. Those are the words that describe what is happening in the financial service industry. The financial service industry is coming through, let's say, improvements. There is a lot that is happening in the domestic type of transactions. You can clearly see that there are things like QR payments, payment on contact, a request to pay, and all those services. But when it comes to the cross-border transactions, it takes hours, days, and weeks. We in RTGs Global, we think that this is no longer sufficient, that something needs to happen. And that's why RTGs Global, that has been established just three years ago in London, have developed a technology that allows a banks and a customers of banks and fintech organizations to transfer money cross-border real-time 24 by 7, anytime, anywhere, any currency. We understand that there is a lot that goes around the liquidity. Just imagine an ordinary bank supports between 5 to 25, 30 different currencies for cross-border transactions, which means that a bank like that need to have some 5 to 30, 40 Nostro accounts for each currency. And many times they have more Nostro accounts for one currency, multiple. Then, of course, they need to keep some liquidity on those accounts which may raise millions in dollars in equivalent. Now multiply this by 11,000 banks around the globe and by multiple fintech organizations serving millions and millions of customers. All this money are sitting on those accounts or are somewhere lost in transit. Those money are dead. They cannot be used. Imagine that you could use this money, that you can tap to this locked liquidity. What opportunities you can do? That's what RTGS Global have decided to do. Simply make things fast, smooth and instant and cheap. We can say that the financial service industry is broken. Many people talk about new services, SWIFT Go, SWIFT GPI, cross-border transactions, domestic RTGS systems. But we did a test, very similar test, and I can imagine that that test is something that most of you live day by day. We ask a bank in Georgia to send money to a bank in Tajikistan, and vice versa. First of all, that transaction could not settle in domestic currencies. The banks could not find the correspondent path using the SSIs, Standard Settlement Instructions, because they could not find the correspondence for the transaction to be done in US dollar. So they did it in euros. And now imagine, you need to pay someone fast or somebody is sending money back to his families. Or you just need to pay for a scholarship of your children in different countries. That payment from Georgia to Tajikistan in euros took 15 days. Not only that, 
the fees applied by the banks in between, the correspondent banks, were 48 euros. 48 euros were deducted from a payment on 100 euros and it took 15 days to transfer. Not only that, we asked the Tajik bank to send the money back to Georgia. The money had been sent on the 12th of December 2023. And I'm using the year as well because it is important. The money had been delivered to the bank in Georgia last week only. The money got lost for, more, for almost three months. The bank had spent so much time on the investigations, calling, emailing, trying to find out where the money is for almost three months. The cost associated with this investigation far exceeded the fees that the bank could charge for this transfer. So that's how it is. That's the world in which we live today when it comes to the cross-border payment and settlement. Now when we move to what RTGS Global have decided to do, we did the same transaction using our technology. It took less than a second to pay Tajikistani Sumoni from Georgia to Tajikistan. It took less than a second to send Georgian Lari from Tajikistan to Georgia. There were some news about this last year. This has been multiplied by the press release that has been released just yesterday that we actually have multiple banks in our system and we are now supporting multiple currency corridors. And this is happening in Central Asia. Why this is happening in Central Asia? There is a significant boom. It doesn't move. It doesn't matter. There is a boom in financial service industry in Central Asia. There is a lot of transactions that is happening today. We have been watching the growth rate of cross-border transactions for payment and settlement. We can clearly see that the cross-border transactions are actually raising some 3 to 11 percent everywhere in the globe, except one place, Central Asia. The growth in Central Asia is exceeding 70 percent year on year. Now, can somebody tell me if there is such a demand for new services and cross-border payment and settlement, how the outdated legacy correspondent banking chain can serve the needs and the demands of everybody, of corporates, retail customers, families, children. That technology cannot keep up. Now why I'm talking about technology. Technology is a key. Let me ask you one question, and please raise a hand to whom it applies. Are you using some real-time services? Now, with real-time services, I mean, for example, watching a TV live of a football game. I mean, talking to somebody else using Microsoft Teams, using WebEx. So again, tell me who of you is using real-time services? Guys, I, see, I need to see all hands because you all do it. I see people on a telephone right now. That's what is real time. Now, real time communication is it just data. Data that goes through the cables and switches. How come you can talk today, face, voice, with anybody on this planet? You can talk real time to people in London, in Sydney, in Tokyo, in New York. This is a real time communication. The real time communication is a data transfer. Well, a payment is also a data transfer. Moreover, it's very little data if you really look at the data stream. It's just few bits and bytes. And it travels through the same cables and switches. 
So how come you can talk to anybody on this planet real time, but if you want to send them the money, this is going to take days, weeks, and hours? Simply, the correspondent banking chain. The correspondent banking is not the solution for cross-border payments and settlement. Correspondent banking chain is the problem. And RTGS Global has been designed to resolve this problem. What is it that we do? We are actually introducing a totally new breakthrough technology that has been, by the way, existing in telecommunication for years now. And we are now moving this technology and we are bringing this technology to the financial service industry. We have created a totally new platform, a new ecosystem that allows banks to reduce the cost, to eliminate the risk. By risk, I mean the settlement risk and the counterparty risk when it comes to the settlement. It enables the banks to benefit from the capital that previously has been locked in transit. The banks will be able to recycle the same amount of money multiple times a day and not to use it once every three days. Customers will benefit from the services that may exist domestically, but they will be able to benefit from them cross-border. So this is what RTGS Global has been set to do. Seems the batteries on in this instant remote control have died, so that's, that's why the slides are not moving. But one thing I wanted to tell you. We have realized that if you look at the countries of Central Asia, like Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Turkey, and many of those countries, sorry if I missed someone, if you look at the needs of the cross-border payment and settlement, it is exceeding 70%. 70% of those transactions are happening among those countries. This is what we can do. We can enable those 70% of transactions to happen real-time, instant, without risk, very cheaply. This is the reason why we are actually running the pilot program, especially here in Central Asia. We are bringing an opportunity to the banks to leverage on the investments that they had to do. Many banks did implement already the CBPR plus, the migration to the new XML standard, category one, two, and nine. But at the same time, many banks still don't know how to use it. Well, RTGS Global is ISO 2022 compliant. So if you did invest in swift migration to new standard, you actually already invested in RTGS Global as well, because you are now fully compliant. On the other hand, many banks that did not start with this yet, they are going to have a serious headache, because the industry deadline for this migration is November 2025. RTGS Global is working with significant global partners and combined technology can do two things in one go. We can help you to become ISO 2022 or XML compliant, and you can get the access to RTGS Global Network almost as a side effect. So whoever says, I cannot do anything else because I have budget only for the XML migration, I say, let's do it together. It will be cheaper and faster we will help you out, and you will help the financial services to become a member of RTGS Global by extending the lines of the members. The power of the network is the network itself. Let's come and let help us to create the network for you. Thank you.